Okay, this is a, a, a similar problem that we had prior. It's about the hands on a clock. And it says that what times between four and five o'clock are the hands of a watch at right angles to each other? So just a, you know, a little simplification of the problem by looking at a very simple picture. And uh, they're not asking for an approximate time. They're actually, actually the exact time. But four o'clock, the um, hour hand would be there. And I'm sorry, the, um, the minute hand's there and the hour hand's over here. All right, and then it, <coughs> the question becomes at five o'clock, right? Let's take a look at that. At five o'clock, right? I'll put a clock down over here and just visualizing. At five o'clock, the minute hand's here and the hour hand would be over here somewhere, all right? So I hope you realize as this thing kind of goes around that, um, you know, initially they're, um, they're, they're much greater than 90 degrees apart. But I hope you realize as you visualize this thing, you know, at a little bit, had a little head of schedule, it's, gonna, it's definitely going to hit, right, at a 90 degree angle. And you could approximate the time. And then it's going to pass, the minute hand's going to pass the hour hand, and there'll be another point in time. So I was going to say there's two points in time where this occurs. All right, now I want to do the first one. All right, so how do you do that? Well, I think we've done something like this before. And the way Wells does it, the way I do it, I realize I write a lot of material over here is, you know, I go, to, I go through Wells' technique, but also want to go through my technique. All right, now, sir, I shouldn't call it my technique. It's anyone's technique. I just, my preference, I should say. What's my preference? Um, thinking and writing down the rates of the minute hand and the hour hand. So let me, let me just talk about the minute hand again for you. The rate that which, which the minute hand goes, this is the rate. It does one rev every 60 minutes. And we've done a problem like this prior. So I'm just going to say one over 60. What do I mean by one over 60? It does one revolution every 60 minutes. And let's talk about the hour hand. And again, rate. And what's the rate of the hour hand? Well, it does one rev. And remember, we said it does takes 12 hours. 12 hours in terms of minutes, though, is 720 minutes. It's a really slow rate, by the way. And I, that's minutes, by the way. So I'm just going to write down 1 over 720. All right? Now, what, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get them to be at right angles to one another. Right? So a right angle means they're separated by a quarter of a revolution. All right? So, so now it comes the problem over here is that I've got, you know, one case to do first. And I'm, I'm thinking about it. And I realize the, um, the hour hand, it, it definitely has a head start. The question is how much of a head start? Well, it's a quarter, right? It's a quarter turn. This is initially what it has at the beginning of time. And then it's got, you know, one third of a quarter or one twelfth. And that would be twelve. All right, I'm talking about its head start and revolutions. So what do you get there? You get three plus one, which is four twelfths, which is one third. That certainly stands to reason, by the way. You know, exactly at four o'clock he's one third of a revolution ahead. Who are we talk about the hour hand. All right. Now, I hope you realize that what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to get their difference to be a quarter. I'm trying to get their difference to be a quarter. All right, let's write this difference down now. So I'll write this over here, and I'll go through the, I'll go through the uh, algebra, but I want the difference to be a quarter. All right? So I want the difference between those guys to be one quarter of revolution, which is 90 degrees. They're at right angles to one another. So... Let's take a little be careful about this. So, I mean, the, the, the minute, I mean, the hour hand is already ahead by a third. Right? So, he's ahead by a third. And then what? He starts to move, right? And how does he move? He moves at a rate every minute. He does 720, uh, 1 over 720 revs. 
All right. Now I got to start taking away because, you know, this guy, this minhan is starting to chase him, right? I don't want the difference to be a quarter. And how fast is the minute then going? It's going T over, whoops, that's T over 60. So this is the first time. And I want to go through it. And to go through it means I need to solve that equation. And I'm going to, you know, kind of write a little differently. I'm going to write it as T over 720 minus T over 60. And then I'm going to do 1 quarter minus 1 third. And let's see, that would be 12, right? And that would be 3 minus... Um, 3 minus 4 is minus 1, right? So minus 1 twelfth. Boy, i got to do some arithmetic here, don't I? And I can multiply both by, by, by 720. So you get T minus 12 t equals, I'm just multiplying, that's all I'm doing. So 720, I multiply by 720, right? t, and that's 12, and let's see, that would be minus 60, right? Well, I got troubles, and my troubles are, you know, I got to figure this number out here, and it's gonna be minus 11 t equals minus 60, and t is going to be 60 over 11. Now, granted, I, I would never speak to someone that way. I'd never say, oh, the time is 60 over 11. And probably I wouldn't speak this way either with a mixed number. But anyway, let's go through it. And that goes in five times, right? And five times, and as a remainder, doesn't it? 55 and 5 elevenths. And that's in minutes. So... I'm going to say, and again, go back to the original story over here, what times between 4 and 5 o'clock are the hands of the watch at right angles to each other. Well, let's write this down now. So it's going to be 4. Well, it's going to be 4.05 and 5 elevenths. That's the time, all right? So I'm going to say 5 and 5 elevenths after the hour. Now, certainly, I want to make sure I've got that. Oh, look at that. The answer's right over there. Right. I didn't do the other one, though. No. Right. I did not do the other one. So if someone says, where's the other one going to be? Well, the other one's going to be where the minute hand is ahead of the hour hand. The minute hand is ahead of the hour hand. Well, let me write that down for you. That's the minute hand. Is ahead of the hour hand. Well, the hour hand still has that advantage, right? So it's one third plus t over one twenty, and that's still going to be equal to a quarter. Well, let's see if we can solve that. So let me repeat this: the minute hand is ahead of the hour hand by a quarter now. But remember that that hour hand at seven twenty, by the way. That hour hand had a head start. So I'm going to do the same thing. And um, I got one answer. I'm doing the other one. And we're doing this one over here now. And let's write this down now. And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to try to be careful again. So it's T over 60. Uh, minus one third. Minus seven over 720. Equals one quarter. Well, I got some arithmetic to do. And I'm going to do it, and I'm looking at it. I got T over 60 minus T over 720. And then I got one-third and a quarter. I think I did that before, right? A little differently, though. So it's going to be, let's say, one-third plus a quarter. So it's 4 plus 3 is 7 twelfths. And now what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by the LCD, which is 720. And you're going to get 12T minus t, and that's going to be 60 times 70. Well, 6 times 7 is 42, so 420. And what do you get over here? You get 11t equals 420, and t equals 420. 
over 11. I want to go through the arithmetic with you because I would never say that to somebody, 420 over 11. Well, let's see, it looks like three. That would be 33. And then what do you get? You get seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna say eight, which would be 88 and two. So this is gonna be what? 38 and two elevens. So the other time it occurs at is gonna be four, 38, and two elevens. So there's two times it happens, all right? And these answers are certainly clearly listed for you. All right, let me make sure they are listed. Uh, 430, I, I see this over here. Um, I wanna see if I write the times down though for you. Yeah, the way I write them down, it, I, I don't write it with the colon in it, it's typical. But I did get this one over here. I wanna remind you that it's 38 and two elevens past uh, four o'clock. I have that written over here. And the other one I wrote down was the, uh, I want to sort of make sure I have this written down for you as well. And I got to see where it is. Yeah, I have this one written down as well. And that's five and five elevens. And where did I write that down? Right over here. All right. So everything is done. Now granted, I know these are difficult problems. Now the way I see Wells doing it, I can appreciate what it does, but I wouldn't do it that way. So what I do is I present two ways for you. And again, the way that works for you is the way that it works for you. So you can do Wells' technique or you can do my technique, all right? Now granted, you might say, so neither of those work for me. You know what? Go to YouTube and look for clock problems, right? Maybe they got a better way of you doing this swing over here. Now, I only think that these are the, I would say the two most clear way of doing things, but the fact that I think they're clear doesn't mean you think they're clear. All right, so I, I periodically I, I mention my name to you. My name is Ron Bannon. And if you've been watching my videos, you know my name is Ron Bannon by now. And again, if you need to reach out to me, my email address is Bannon. That's B as in boy, the at symbol, N-N-O-N dot U-S. And as long as I'm not overwhelmed, I'll, I'll, I'll try to respond to you. Okay? If I'm overwhelmed, we'll, we'll not be able to respond to you. Uh, these videos really don't get too popular, though. I'm not really sure um, if... Th there are popular math videos. I'm not saying otherwise. But a lot of math videos really are not very popular. They might get you know, like 10 hits, 20 hits. Most people, they watch 30 seconds and they stop, all right? But if you're paying attention and you get to the end of these videos, good for you. Thank you, and I do appreciate it. Thank you.